my dining. So what have we got here then? Okay, this is uh, the most uh, iconic uh, Hakka cuisine. In Mandarin, we call lei cha. Lei cha, so uh, some kind of tea. I yes, guess, cha mm. being tea. Yes, uh, I have Danny Wen's Koi. I have Sinjo Jodong Zin, a guy, a sale. Thailand has a lot of heat, get a fruit. I have Johnny Hill, Fago Doho, a Hakka and Wunfa. I don't have a long dong chung ya. So I'm a Koi Si Yang Ju Hakka and Wunfa. I'm going to go and shin a Joka, I see a shoe. I'm Chris Stowers, I'm an English photographer, and I've been living and working in Asia for the last 35 years. I've heard the word hacker mainly because if I go out in Taipei to eat, sometimes people say, oh, let's go and have some hacker food. I'm not really good at being able to define what is the specific hacker ingredient here, apart from I know they've got the stewed pork fat. <laughs> Okay, try this one. Main point with the Hakka culture is in this pork. There's some, is it cooked marinated with something? See, is that's it? a key point. One of the Hakka very famous dish is a mei gan cai, which is a, a fermented and then also uh, like some dry fruits. The way they cook it is pretty much like a stew, but they always the twist. The twist is, Haka, whatever you find it, we try to brand ourselves in that culture. Mm. Which means like uh, in Taipei, mm. we try to brand ourselves in Taipei modern culture. Okay. And then the other thing is, uh, because our chef, you know, her background is also the Hakka, mm -hmm. but from the south. Mm -hmm. And um, she studied abroad, mm -hmm. and so she yeah. brings back, you know, new Plus technique. different influences. Yeah. What is interesting for me, as a photographer, is how these traditional Hakka foods look no different from the cuisine you would find in modern restaurants, a sign that the culture is still keeping up with our times. I like photographing food, mm -hmm. but it's not my main job. Mm -hmm. My main job is people and places. Oh. But um, on the, the trail, mm -hmm. um, what are the key features to, mm -hmm. to look out for that identify mm -hmm. those places as being Hakka settlements? Oh, yeah, oh, it's here. Exactly. 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 It's a very, very iconic uh, Hakka cuisine, mm -hmm. Hakka food. Mm -hmm. And especially, you have to see this one, because they made from the rice, mm -hmm. they use the old traditional way, mm -hmm. you know? Because when first they ground it, and then they put in the water, mm -hmm. and then they just squeeze it. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the water Get out, the water and begin like this. Yes. Right. Yeah. The younger generations of Zhang's family grew up in cities such as Taipei. But his neighbors, like him, have lived their childhoods here. Maybe we have to be fit to live in the. This here, this one road, this old road. Before this, we walked down here. Down, down, down. There is a well. Then my grandma's house was right here. 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 因为那时候没有叫张志西路，就是我们生活的路。对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对